traditions, it's what we do. That's why we start games at 11.15 in New York and nobody, you know, I, I don't want that. If they start hearing me or coaches or somebody complain about it, then it picks up the vibe. I, I don't know what we do. We play and we compete. I'm sorry for your work. That's right. I'm sorry for your work. Um, some of our experience, the period of the last six or eight weeks where uh, Dan has brought in a Bill Hall, a Joel Panera, Tejada. Who's um, Joel Panera. Oh, Joel. Um, By the way, he's got some shoulder capsule soreness. Not as why he didn't make his start, but it should resolve. But, the, you know, at, at various junctures, we've all kind of, to some extent, rolled our eyes. You say, you know, how many people are you going to sign? How many people are you going to bring in? Um, I didn't. <laughs> right. So what I'm getting at is your your opinion of, of the way Dan's gone about this to create some options for you, and is are there more out there somewhere? Well, it, it's, it's about being proactive instead of reactive. You know, it's the same way when we talked last year about playing a game. You're playing teams that are pushing the envelope and doing something. You got to. You know, it's about being proactive instead of reacting to a problem. Try to get. You know, we hear me all the time about what ifs. You know, you know, Peter, I was, I was looking today, you think that we have all these injuries, we do, it's just the time they came together, but uh, there's four other, there's four clubs in the major leagues that have more guys on DL than we do, you know, one of them in Boston, you know, so uh, nobody feels sorry for you, and it's, but, you know, shame on you if you're not, you know, you're engaged and active and, and Position yourself to try to withstand it. You know, that can't always just come from your system. And you also, you know, from the draftees or, or, you know, you've got to, believe me, I, that waiver wire comes over every day and I, I get it ported to me. And 10 minutes after the game last night, I was talking to Rick Adair about two pitchers that were on there. I mean, you know, you, you better be ahead of the curve. 